Welcome back. So if the user just types how, for example, it's going to return I am great, but the user didn't say how are you. And this is because we are using the includes, which is going to check if only a word exists within a string and it's going to, of course, return uh, this and it could also return other things. So for example, if I just type H and then send, it's going also to return I am great. If I type W, it's going to return or respond with I am great because W exists in the first message and this is a problem. And in order to fix it, we can simply use if statement in the process message. We can, instead of starting to filter the array of possible messages, we can first check using if statement, check for what the user has typed. So we can use the user that message, and then if that message, that length, is smaller than say five characters or four characters, because there is no word uh, that is um, four characters or five characters that is meaningful in our situation here. Almost there is no, because if the user just types who or how or what, they are meaningless. They have to write something uh, more than just five characters. So we can here check for if the number of characters is greater than five, then we can proceed. And then we have we can have else statement or else if even. So let's add also else if. So here we can say else if. And if the user user dot message equals to how or 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 if the user user dot message equals to who then in in that case we can just display what do you mean or something like that and then we also have else which is the most important else so in case the the message is uh, length is greater than five then we can proceed otherwise we can display here call the chat uh, but send message and say just a question mark because um, how or who are meaningless in this context and then else in the else statement we can say please send me a complete complete sentence but also we need also the uh, set time out so that it looks natural so we can paste it here and remove remove this part remove this part and paste this and also we need also here the set time out and with this message with this message so let's now save and run refresh if now I just send one character or for example send it's going to say here please send me a complete sentence because oh it doesn't mean anything here if I say how and send I'm gonna just send the the chatbot where it will send just a question mark because how here is meaningless and uh, this is a good fix to a situation like that and of course you can add as many else if uh, as you wish and with or and an or in order to make all of these checks so that your chatbot becomes sophisticated and a response to whatever the user is going to type.